Hi there, Jeffrey Rhodes from Experimental Homesteader, Exotic Gardening, and SherryAnnRichardson.com. Uh, well, <laughs> we slept in a bit today. Um, we were both tired. Um, and uh, finally got up and got moving, went out, let the chickens and goats out. Um, decided that I was going to uh, work on the trees that were down in the, uh, the pasture area. So, got out the chainsaw, uh, realized that I didn't really have enough uh, gas mixture, uh, realized that I didn't have the uh, two-cycle oil that I needed to make up fresh oil mixture, or oil and gas mixture. So, put the goats away, went to Speedway, got our drinks, went to Meyer, got the, uh, the proper oil, came home, started to mix up the oil and gas mixture, realized I didn't have enough gas to do a full amount. Uh, so I took the gas can, went back to Speedway, uh, put some gas in the van, put some gas in the gas can. Stopped at Ruler to get a bag of ice, and on the way home from Ruler, uh, I ran over a piece of metal of some sort and jabbed my left rear tire. And it started making noise, so I pulled over. I pulled into the parking lot at H&R Block. And uh, finally figured out, you know, which tire it was and where it was. Because initially when I had parked, uh, it was directly under the tire. So I actually had to back up a little bit to see, to actually see it. Uh, and it was jabbed in really good. Um, because I went to pull it out, you know, see if it was just, you know, like on the surface. So I tried to play with it a little bit. It started to hiss a little bit, letting air out of the tire. So I left it alone. Uh, we decided to uh, try and call our roadside assistants and have somebody come out and tow the van to... In and out auto. Well, <laughs> that turned into possibly trying to send somebody out to just put the spare on um, and back and forth trying to figure out you know which way we wanted to go with it. And the woman on the other end trying to find a provider, you know, a towing service that either would come out and tow the van or come out and help to change out the tire. And after, I think it was about an hour and a half, she finally gave up. She couldn't find anybody local that was willing to come out and assist. So came back home, you know, left the van there, came home, went across the street and uh, the neighbors were over working on the house across the street. So I got with them. We took the floor jack that I had because I wasn't sure. I hadn't messed with any of the tires on the van. So I wasn't entirely sure what I was doing with the van. Um, I sort of knew where the jack was. Um, I figured out where the spare was. But I was having fits trying to figure out how to take the spare out from underneath the van. Um, so they went with me. We took a floor jack to make it easier to jack up the van. Um, they showed me exactly how to take the spare off because um, there's a basically a, a bolt up in the cargo compartment inside the van that you unwind and lower the uh, because there's a cable attached that lowers the, the spare. So we figured that out, got it 
the spare off, got the, the punctured tire off, swapped them out, um, brought the van home, and I went back to working on the downed trees out there. Did not make a lot of progress, um, but I'm working on it. Uh, I needed to take a break. Um, it's very hot outside today. Uh, I needed something to drink and we're gonna need something for dinner here shortly. Uh, probably gonna need to do dishes before we can have anything. Um, and I may go downstairs and work on the basement a little bit more because I want to get the basement cleaned up more and get it ready for next weekend when Guy comes to do an estimate on the, the walls. So, uh, a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff happening. I was thinking this was going to be a nice, easy day today. Just get out there with the chainsaw and just start hacking away and uh, cut up those trees. Never works out the way I plan. <laughs> so, uh, but I think that's going to do it for tonight. Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up, thumbs down comments below. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Stay safe out there.